Welcome to Linear Functions video 7. In this video I'm going to talk about linear functions, the distance between coordinates and calculating midpoints. So this video will be fairly quick. I'll give you one example to start and then I'll give you a generalization and the formulas that you can use. Of course you can take it from there. So let's start with the example listed just here. So in this example I'm giving you two coordinates 0, 0,2 and 6,5. Here's 0, 0,2 and here's 6,5. And the blue line represents the line segment that connects 0, 0,2 and 6,5, the coordinates. Let's say in this instance that I'd like to find not only the distance of the line, but also the midpoint. Let's start with the distance. To calculate the distance, the first thing I need to do is set up a right angle triangle. Exactly the same one you will have set up when you're doing gradient calculations using rise over run. Now, this being 6,5 and this being 0,2, we can quickly work out what the height and the base length of this triangle is. So this has a height from 5 to 2, which gives me a height of 3, and a base length from 0 across to 6. This gives me a base length of 6. Of course, you'll recognize now the gradient is 3 over 6, which is 1. But we're not worried about the gradient. What we can see here is that the length, which I'll write down as L, L squared is equal to 3 squared plus 6 squared. And if you don't recall why, just remember this formula. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. That's right, Pythagoras theorem. So now I can simplify this. 9 plus 36, that's equal to 45. So L squared is equal to 45, and L is equal to the square root of 45. Now in most cases at this stage, you won't need to worry about setting out L as a decimal number. It's really usually pretty appropriate just to write L uh, as a third, as we call it, or a square root. But if you did want to write it as a decimal number, in this case it would be 6.708. So that's the length. Now let's say we wanted to calculate the midpoint. The midpoint is located right here. Now, in every case, I don't want to have to go to my line and measure it out and find the midpoint like that. What I need to recognize is the midpoint, the key word here is mid. Mid being the middle. So I'm looking for the middle point, somewhere in the middle. And if we're ever looking for the middle, we're looking for the average. So in this case, we're looking for the average. As you can see here, on my y-axis, my line goes from 2 to 5. The average is right in the middle of 2 and 5, which I hope you can see is 3.5. And on my x-axis, it goes between 0 and 6. So the midpoint goes to 3. So therefore my midpoint, which I'll shorten to MP, is equal to 3,3.5. Now the other way I could calculate this as an average is if I actually worked out what the average of my x's and my y's were. So the midpoint would be equal to 6 plus 0 over 2. The midpoint, the average is always calculated by adding and dividing by how many you have. And then 2 plus 5 over 2. And if you look at these calculations, you'll get 3,3.5. Close brackets. So there's your midpoint and length. Now let's say that I wanted to do this generally. I want to set up some formulas. So I'm going to work on this same grid, but I won't use a specific example. So let's imagine I just chose two points. I choose this point here and this point here. I'm going to call this first point x1, y1. And the second point x2, y2. Now going through the same colors, the process we had earlier, I'll need to create a triangle to get my length. And I need to work out the height and the base of my triangle. Now I'm hoping again you can re remember back to your work with the gradient. Recognize the height is the difference in y values. So it's y2 minus y1. And the base is the difference in x values. So it's x2 minus x1. So now we have this. The length L fits into this formula. L squared equals B squared plus H squared. That's Pythagoras theorem. But we know that B squared 
is x2 minus x1 squared. And we know that h squared is y2 minus y1 squared. So we can write this more generally as L is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And this is our formula. So of course, I'll stick a big colourful box around it to remind you of that. And that formula will work for any two given coordinates. Secondly, we may need to calculate the midpoint. And let's say the midpoint is around about here. So we need the midpoint x value and the midpoint y value. To calculate the midpoint, we just need to average out the x values. So that's x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And then average out the y values, y1 plus y2 over 2. And well, that will calculate the midpoint for us. And that's also the formula. So let me put that in a box. So now we've generated the midpoint formula and the length formula in terms of the two coordinates and four unknowns, x1, x2, y1, y2. All the best.